PC Electronics. Today's video is a preparation for SAC Technical Assistant and Scientist Post and we are going to see the questions from uh, the digital electronics subject. That is again a highly uh, important subject because a lot of questions are being asked from uh, digital electronics. That is a lot of weightage is given to that subject. Okay, so let us see what is the first question. Uh, these are previous year questions of ISRO examination itself. Okay, so please uh, give uh, importance to this video. The logic function of this 4 is to 1 marks is dash. You need to write the logical expression for this 4 is to 1 marks. How to identify whether it is a 4 is to 1 marks? There are 4 inputs and there will be 1 output. So it is a 4 is to 1 marks. You represent it 4 by 1. And these are the select lines MSB and LSB. So the various combinations of this X and Y are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So you can represent this as x bar y bar x uh, y bar sorry x bar y x y bar and x y that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. These are the representation in terms of these variables. Okay and for these four select lines or select line combinations there are four combinations of the select lines right. According to these combinations any one of this input will be passed to the output. That is actually the working of a max. So when 0, 0 is coming or when the uh, input is x bar, y bar, your output will be i0. When it is x bar, y or when it is 0, 1, your output will be i1. Likewise, okay. So uh, for x, y, the output will be i3. Likewise, it will be passed down to the output side. The inputs will be passed down to the output side. That is a basic working of a max. Now, how to write the logical expression in terms of x and y? Because if you see the, uh, the select lines, there are x, y combination. Inputs are also x, y combination and a 0. So, let us try to uh, write the expression for this marks in terms of the select lines and the input combinations. So, first when x bar, y bar is coming, what is the output? It is i0. What is i0? It is x. So, x plus next combination is I will write it below. Okay. X bar y. For that. What is the output? It is y. Then plus. X y bar. That for that combination. The output is x. And for x y. The output is 0. So these are the various combinations. Now how can you simplify these four uh, representations? Let's see. That is These four terms. How can you simplify? Let's see. If you see uh, this first expression. There is a x bar. There is a x. So, x bar into x is 0. So, that term is getting cancelled. And here also there is one 0 here. x, y into 0 means that is getting cancelled, right? So, that two terms will get cancelled. And the output is x, y, y, then x, y bar, x. So, you can write this as x bar, y plus x, y bar, right? So, that is your representation. Now, how can you write this as a logical function? x bar y plus x y bar is nothing but x xor y. So, this is nothing but a xor gate, right? x y. So, this is the, if you write this as f, this 4 is to 1 max is actually the logical representation of a xor gate. Okay. So, the answer for this question is the logical expression or the logical function which is implemented with this 4 is to 1 max combination is an XOR function. Okay, so the answer is XOR. That is X, XOR, Y is the answer. The next question is a 2's complement type of question. The two numbers in signed 2's complement form, uh, 2's complement are P is equal to is given here, Q is equal to is given. If Q is subtracted from P, that is you have, you have to take P minus Q. Okay, or... If you write this P minus Q, you have to take. You have to subtract Q from P. The two's complement form is dash. So this is simply by taking uh, that uh, when you want to subtract Q from P means take the two's complement of Q and then add with P. That is the simple method. Here also we need to represent the two's complement form itself. So we can subtract it like this. First I will write the P because it is the same number. 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0 and 1. Then I am going to take Q and I am going to find the 2's complement because I need to find P minus Q. So 2's complement of Q you need to take. So I am going to 
take the two's complement of uh, q. So first I will write the uh, q itself here. Anyway, we need to take the two's complement. I will write uh, the q as it is first 0. So this is the number q. First I am going to take the 1's complement. It will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 and then 1. So this is the 1's complement of this number. Then I am going to take that is plus 1 to take 2's complement. How to take the 2's complement of a number? Take first 1's complement then add a 1. It will give you 2's complement. Okay then here then uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0. This is the number. So this is the 2's complement representation of your Q. Now what you need to do is you need to add P add P with this number. Okay. And that will give you your subtracted result. So I am going to write this number below this. And I am going to add both the numbers. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and then 0. So I am going to add these two numbers. So in binary generally we take subtraction as 2's complement addition. So that is a principle. Adding these two numbers it is 1. It is 1 again. Then 1. Then here it is 0 carry 1, 0 carry 1, 0 carry 1, 0 carry 1, 0 and then there is a carry 1. So the result is actually 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. That is 5 zeros and 3 ones. That is the result. And there is a carry. Anyway, you can ignore this carry. You only need uh, the result. So it is, this is the, uh, that is the subtracted result of Q from P. That is when you subtract. Q from P in a 2's complement form, this is the result. The answer for this question is this. The next question is a shift register type of question. These type of questions we have done in previous videos. Anyway, the, uh, just listen to the question. Shift register loaded with 1010. That is, uh, this shift register is loaded with initially 1010. After how many clock cycles, the content is 1010 again. That is, how many after how many clock cycles, this content is getting repeated. So how to find this? It is simply by taking off this. Uh, you have to see in each clock cycle what is the content. And then you have to see in which clock cycle the content is again repeated. That is the only way. Okay. So the first initial content is 1010. One, one, right. So what is actually this circuit doing? This is taking the XOR of these two last bits. And the result uh, will be here. So 1 and 0 the result is 1. Then again taking the XOR with this bit and again 0 and 1, the content will be the content will be 1. So this 1 will be loaded as first bit and uh, then the other bits are shifted to this side. Okay, so you have uh, you can write 1 here and this contents will be shifted to this side. So it is 1, 0, 1. So this is happening in the first clock cycle. Okay. So now the content is 1101. So you can write this as 110 and 1. So if you practice it, we uh, you can do it very fastly. But uh, for the first time, uh, you have to do this in each step. Okay. Now take again the XOR. Uh, 0 and 1, 1, 110. 1, 0. So the first uh, bit will be 0. Then again 1 uh, and 1, then 0. So this is happening in the second clock cycle. In the third clock cycle, so this is the content now uh, present in your shift register. So the value is 0, then 1, 1 and then 0. Now again take the XOR of these two bits, 1, 0. So the bit is 0, 0, 1, 1. This is happening in the third clock cycle. That is 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So this is the content. Again, in the next cycle, 1, 1 is 0, 0, 0 is 0. So again, the result is 0. Then 0 and 0 and 1. This is happening in the 4th clock cycle. So the result is now 0, 0, 0, 1. So you have to take this is 0, 0, 0 and 1. Now uh, see what is happening. 0 and 1, the result is 1. 1 and 0, the result is again 1. So 1 and shift these contents to the to this side. Okay, so what is happening? Uh, it is actually a shift register. So in every time... On every clock cycle, it will load with some value and then shift the uh, the whatever content is present in the register. It will shift. So that is happening. So the, uh, now the content is 1. Then you have to shift 
0, 0 and 0. This is in the fifth block cycle. So the content is now 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so whenever you are, you have to do these type of questions, I would suggest you to do in the towards the end of examination because even though the uh, answer will be known to you or you will obtain the answer, time consuming, uh, the, that is these are time consuming questions. Okay, next, 0, again 0, 0 is 0, uh, yeah, 0 and 0. So the content is 0 here, then 1, 0, 0. This is happening in the 6th clock cycle. Now the content is 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so 0, 1, 0, 0. Now let's see what is happening. 0, 0, the content is 0, 0 and 1, the content is 1. Now 1 will come here, then shift these. So 0, 1 and 0. Now you can see in the 7th clock cycle. See, I have written all the clock cycles for you. First clock cycle, this is happening. Second clock cycle, this is the content. Third, fourth, fifth, six, uh, sixth and then seven. The current is again 1, 0, 1, 0. So, you can write this as 1, 0 and 1, 0. So, again it is shifted, that is again it is loaded with the content which was initially present in the shift register, that is 1, 0, 1, 0 during the 7th clock cycle. So, there are chances that in every 7th, then 14th, it will repeat likewise, okay. So, th anyway, the answer for this question is during the 7th cycle or during the 7th clock cycle, this uh, shift register will be loaded with the content 1010 1, again. So, I am telling it once again. These questions are simple. You can do it. You will get the answer. But it is time consuming. So, you have to, uh, that is, you have to put this or shift this question to the end of the examination. Okay. Anyway, the answer for this question is 7th clock cycle or during the clock cycle 7. Okay. Next questions. There are two questions. Are a little bit different questions. Uh, one question is regarding a switch connection. Second one is a Venn diagram. Both for both these questions, you need to answer what is a logical expression. Okay, very simple it is. Just uh, if you practice two or three questions, you will be able to answer any question. That that form of questions is it. That is, it is simple. Okay, so this is not why it is D. Okay, so uh, you need to write the logical expression for this uh, circuit or connection. It is actually connection of switches. The output is y and you need to write what is y in terms of a, b, c and d. Okay, so that is the question. So, uh, whenever uh, that is if you want some output, you have to get one uh, entire path as connected, right? Whenever there is an open circuit, you won't get the output. So, whenever you need a entire, that is whenever you need a output, you should have an entire line as closed. If any of these switches is open means that will be an open circuit and it won't be producing any output. That is a logic. So, for both these lines, these two are parallel lines. For both these lines to be producing an output, this A should be always closed. Right. So, you can write A into then. See this two B and C. When B is closed and C is open, will this line be producing any output? No, right? That is, this line is not closed. That is, some switch is open in that line and you won't be getting any output. Or in the reverse, if C is closed and B is open means it is not a closed circuit. So, you won't be getting any output. So, for this entire line to produce an output, both B and C should be closed. So, this is actually acting an AND gate. This is a logic of AND gate. See, for AND gate, to get your output, if B and C is output, if you want to get output as 1, you should be having B and C both equal to 1. That is the logic. So, for this, you have to consider that B and C is actually behaving like an AND gate. So, in order to produce a stable output or a 1, you should have both B and C as closed. So, it is B and C. Then, there is another line which is going parallel to this line which is D that can independently produce an output at Y. That is, it can give Y as 1 if this D is closed. Okay, so this is D. And this is the expression for this particular switch circuit. Or you can write this uh, simply without taking this bracket, consider A is closed. Uh, to have an output, 
one option is to pass through this line. So you should need A, then B, then C. Then the next option to produce an output is through this line, this line, right? So this A, then closing this D. So A, D. So this is the output for this switch connection. Either this line should be closed or this line should be closed. So it should be either A, B, C or it should be A, D. Okay, so again you can take common A, then B, C plus D. So that's the answer for this or logical expression for this output Y. So whenever you want to uh, write the logical expression for a circuit or a switch connection or anything, you should see that which all combinations is producing one less output. So this two combinations are producing one less output. Expression for this Venn diagram. There is a Boolean expression we need to write for this Venn diagram. I have made a small correction. Actually, this blue portion is also present in this figure. So, the output is 1. That is, Y is 1 for this portion and for this portion. This portion is actually, so this is Z. Okay. So, this entire circle is Z. This circle is X. This circle is Y. So, you have to consider these uh, shaded portions with blue and red. And for these two shaded portions, your output y is equal to 1. And you have to write the, uh, the Boolean expression or the logical expression for these two portions, the shaded portions. What is this shaded portion? It is actually the, the intersection of these two circles, x and y. What is it called? It is x, y is the intersection called. Okay. And the union is called x plus y. So, this is the intersection portion. It is, that is x into y. Okay. So, uh, I call the output expression as f. So, f is equal to one shaded portion is x, y. Then, plus, what is this shaded portion? If you see this uh, z circle, it is actually intersecting with x and also y. But, here, they have, uh, or in this uh, diagram, they have excluded the portions where this z is crossing x and it is crossing y okay so it is not entirely z it is but from the z they are excluding the portions where this z circle is crossing x this is the portion where z circle is crossing x and this is the portion where z circle is crossing y so they have excluded these two portions and the remaining portion and their portion of the z is taken so that is the this shaded portion so you can write it since we are excluding x and y x bar y bar z it is so this is the logical expression for this venn diagram so if you want me to do a separate video on venn diagrams and logical expressions please do mention in the comment section we will be doing an entire video where we will be discussing uh, these basics of venn diagrams and uh, how to write the boolean expressions from these venn diagrams we'll be discussing anyway the answer for this question is x y plus x bar y y bar into z here we have to consider what all these shaded portions represent here the the above shaded portion is x into y it is an intersection here this shaded portion is a part of z where we are excluding the portion we are intersection with x and y and we are taking the remaining z portion so you can write it x bar y bar is it and i'm calling the logical expression as f so f is equal to x y plus x bar y bar is it is the representation okay so these are the questions which i have included in this video we have tried to uh, include a maximum variety of questions in this uh, video and if you want a part two of digital electronics please do mention in the comment section and if this video is useful for your preparation please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching